Here's a look at both pieces of antique furniture. Jeremy here, how the hails are ya? Things are warming up here, so it's time to finish the sort on the deceased man's wife's, even though they were going through the divorce process unit, in which the parents wanted some of the deceased man's items, personal belongings back, which we're happy to accommodate with. So many have asked, what'd you give back? Well, they're coming to meet me at the warehouse and they're gonna pick those items up there at a designated time. And others have said, were they telling the truth? Yep, 100%, everything in their story lined up. We even found their names and their address inside the unit. So. Before we get into the sorting, there's a unit in Columbus that I want to bid on. Let's see if we can win it. I bid up to $1,200 on this unit that still has a minute left at auction. One of our subscribers sent it to me. I thought it was really interesting, a 10 by 30, that somebody has a safe in, as we can see down there, and they were living out of it. Let's just take a peek here real quick. Let me see if I can show you the bed. Okay, so we're going to scroll up. Looked like they were running an entire business and home operation out of here. So let's look at, uh, let me see if I can find the laptop area right here. Laptop area, you know, little, little coin safe box and things like that. So whether they were reselling, running a business and living, who knows? But I did bid up to... $1,200 and at that point I don't see any more profit margin so here's the safe as well so we've got to find another one we can see what it sells for though we can keep watching 10 seconds see somebody else bid 1200 as well and their first bid beat my $1,200 bid and looks like they're gonna get it sure did they got it so at $1,200, that's as high as I felt comfortable going. And somebody else got it. Not me. That's okay. Remember when profiling units, you have to be able to see a profit margin. At that point, my profit margin was gone from what I could see. And frankly, some of the risk factor was in there as well. I just had to know. I saw bullet casings, bullet shells, and I needed to know what was in that safe but I don't need to know so much that I lose money. I don't do this to lose money, neither should you. Let's get back to the sort. Time to unload the entire trailer. There's a pretty big auction up near Youngstown tomorrow, so gotta get it all sorted, gotta get it all out, one way or another. Many have asked what type of travel sewing machine was in the bag. Well, it's a Kenmore. Bag's open, and now you can see. Let's get to the boxes. We've got some cool pieces here. Just look at this old cheese grater. Well, maybe look at it this way. A little bit of a difference there. And then this way. How cool would that be in a house? Looks like we've got, oh, what's that say there? Can you read it? Uh, hard white metal it says that I'm not sure who makes this but with some other pieces too Essex silver company something 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 here let's turn maybe you can see it can you read it let me know what it says I can't read it through a small viewfinder and I'm upside down and backwards trying to do this for you as well Here's a cup, one more piece in there. Let's see what it says. Can you read it? I can't with my color blindness. I can't see that. So if you can, put it in the comments, let us know what it says. As you might expect, there are so many sewing things in this unit that there's no way we can show it all to you, but here, here's another kit here. You've got thimbles down in here. I've never seen this kind of thimble. That's a half thimble. It's a th thimble, thimble nail. Never seen that before. So you got a little bit of anything and everything. We've got more thread. We've got needles and scissors. We've got little kits, 
we got your standard your standard strawberry down here if I can grab it your standard strawberry tomato and I'm sure we've got a million more of these as well from pins and scissors to anything you can think of here we got another basket filled with bolts so this bolt $6.99 I'm guessing a yard $6.99 let's just look at some of the fabric so there you got some fabric we got a got a hot pink down here hot pink in my eyes maybe not yours we got some standard looks like a black satin something like that there so more fabric here's a black diamond pattern that looks really cool feels like vinyl probably is vinyl Look at the craziness of the packing of this box. We've shared with you there's a ton of brand new stuff. So these three pound weights, sure, they're all brand new. There's no doubt about it. A box filled with brand new weights. Now look what we also have. Here is a strawberry something that was bought at Goodwill. And the top, there's the strawberry top. Oh, remember we had the apple. There's the strawberry, and it's in here with weights. I, I can't even believe this thing even survived. The stem is even still on. We had a Christmas village in there. There's, there's underwear. It's the weirdest packing job I've ever seen. Oh, look at this. We've got, there's General Electric outdoor light bulb in here with all these weights. While I never can show you everything, one of the things I think the parents are gonna love is I found these personalized pencils. And so their son's name is actually on the pencil. And as you can see, I'm just showing you a little bit of it. I think it's a good start of a name. And I hope these car keys go to the old car as well. Found a box of yard ornaments, yard decor solar lights rabbits toads turtles all that of like not sure how much these are worth but this attaches to a truck or an suv may actually be worth putting it on the truck for george because she's not that big of an individual she's a very petite five two and i'm a very large six one as you might imagine there's all kinds of totes so for example this one flashlights, headlamps, all kinds of crafting supplies. Look, there's denim style duct tape and sandwich baggies probably for putting things in and selling. Let's set this aside. I mean, there's crafts upon crafts, obviously. Run a little bit of a dip here. Here's another one. We've seen some of these already before. So, here's a we saw scissors like this before, Fiskars. And let's, we'll just, we'll take the drawers out. Looks like she's got little felt hats in here and the drawers are falling out anyway. Here's another one, all kinds of crafting supplies. It's the middle drawer. And then we got another one here. Hey, hey, we got money, we got money. Look at this. Not only does she have crafting supplies, she's got change in here too. We're going to have to dig that all out. See it? Some more examples of some of the new stuff. Look, there's the doggy life vest that I've showed you the other day. Look, she's got tons and tons of jewelry totes. That'll just go to my daughter. More crafting supplies. I don't even know what you call that thing or, or what it's for, but there's instructions in there. That, I'm just going to scrap metal that. We got games and what's this? Oh, there's a, that might be a female pleasure toy right there. That could be. That sounds like it hurts, but we've got, oh, look at this. Yep, I bet you that's, no, that's not, yeah, it is Longer Burger. Look, that's Longer Burger. We found more Longer Burger. 
there's a lid to the basket in there too. So there's the lid. Lid goes on the basket. There's just bunches of different things. Random things like this tote. For example, here's this giant jug. I'm not sure. Oh, you know what? I bet you you hang a spoon on that or something. Yep, look, 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 look. Maybe like that. Maybe like that. So you hang a spoon on it. So you got a jug. Just random stuff everywhere. There's a loaf dish. Look at this. Remember the, the marble rolling pins? Well, there it is. Piece of marble right there. And then you got the old... I, I don't know if that would be crockware or not, but it's an old pot for sure. Last item in the trailer. Let's take a look. I, I, I got a feeling it's just going to be packed with stuff. Here's more. Looks like Native American fabric. We've got, we've got uh, coloring things there. Decorative shell pieces. Clear acrylic sealer. We got, this looks like glue guns and it's probably lace for a wedding dress or something like that. And more fabric, more and more fabric. It's like Buckeye right there. Look at that, Buckeye fabric. Somebody embroidered that. Let's see what we got. We got, we got motor oil, probably for the sewing machines. All kinds of cool stuff like heavy duty felt blankets and anything else you can think of. This is a crafter's dream come true. Cold day on the outside, even though it was warm for a little bit. Somebody got tired and petered out on me too. Hey, thanks again for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. And remember, adventure awaits. You got to go and find it. I'm going to go find some more tomorrow because there's storage unit auctions up in Youngstown. So <laughs> we'll see if we can spend a whole lot less than $1,200. Here's a look at both pieces of antique furniture. And that cabinet was beautiful. It is beautiful. Right there is where George found everything stashed in there. Look at it. The old oak to the right. Old cabinet to the left. I mean, easily, easily one of these pieces will pay for the entire unit. They're absolutely gorgeous.